So this morning we're going to do a little um, training that helps um, with resource guarding. There you go, very quick that. So, the deal is this. A dog resource guards if there's something that he likes that he's afraid that he's going to lose. And so that's based in fear. That's based, and it's not based in aggression. It's based in a worry. And, and food is a primary um, resource. I mean, if you had a banana split and somebody wanted to take it from you, you would, probably wouldn't want to give them your banana split. It makes perfect sense. But what if that person offered you something you liked even more than a banana split? You might think about it. So that's the premise behind this. So, she's never seen this that I'm waving. It is dehydrated chicken. Is this a good thing? Can I have your clicker? Thank you. Is this a good enough thing that it's going to work for this? Check that out. See if it's cool. You have to get them invested in it. It has to be something that they think is a high resource or a high high value resource. She's taking her time to decide that. I might have oh, been, I she I might have been better off starting with a hot dog. No, I think she's made a decision. So now what I'm gonna do is ask her to give it back to me. And if she does. I'm going to click, click and reward her for it. Let's see, how did my hands go here? Can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? Yes! Look at that! Did I tell that? That's a pretty big thing. Good job! Yeah! How about this? You get to have this back. Huh? Two things. Yeah. Good deal. This is not a bad thing, huh? Yeah. She really didn't want to give that to me. She really, really, really didn't. <laughs> You're going to eat my supplies really fast, aren't you? Can I have this back again? Can I have it? Can I have it? Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Give me that back. I'm going to have to wait for her to chew that. And then I'm going to have to give this back to her because... If she's eating that, she's not going to be interested in what I have in my hand. You've got a big piece. Would you like this back? There you go. That's your thing, huh? Can I have it? Can I have it? Yes. Good girl. Have another snack. That's a really cool thing, huh? That's a really cool thing. Good girl. Now you get this back again. Right. Now to end this, because I don't have endless pieces of dehydrated chicken, we're going to give her a goodie and set her down before she realizes that I've stolen this from her. Here we go. Would you like to have that? She can take that with her and go. And she's done. I'm going to finish before I put sure, you can do that. They'll they'll harass her about it. I figured if I put her down. So, if you have an animal that's worried about a resource, you want to be respectful about that. Realize that 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 there's you know every reason in the world for that dog to to have that kind of concern, and you can teach them that they don't need to be concerned by giving them some security about their resource. So, if you have a dog that is resource guards his dog food and you reach for the bowl and the dog is concerned about it, if you step away for a minute, let the dog think about it, and then ask again, oftentimes the dogs will allow you to come up and get their food because they feel like you gave them a choice and they had a minute to think about it. If they're still not willing to, if they see your approach to a food resource as a reason for concern, what about this? What about if you're standing there and there's a bowl right there and the dog is looking at the bowl and he's looking at you and he's concerned and you pitch something new in the bowl. Not only did you not steal it, but you added. You showed up and you added something. And he looks up at you and goes, whoa, that's not so bad. So you take another step or two, the dog is comfortable with it, starts to look a little worried, pitch a piece of food in there, that's pretty cool. You're not rewarding the dog for resource guarding. That's not what it's about. What it is about is letting the dog know that you're all about providing resources. You're, you're, provi you're being positive with them. 
they don't have to protect things from you. You're a, part, you're a partner with them. Um, you'll listen to them. You'll let them tell you how quickly or how slowly they need you to do that. Puppies will go in and out of different periods through adolescence where they'll worry about food and then they don't. Some dogs never do, but when they do, if they ever do, these are great strategies. And if you have a dog that does a lot of concern over a food bowl, if you do work like this, Food exchange is what this is called, and you can, do, you can use any number of things. And what you use is a high value reward, a high value treat that they really don't want to give up, and we kind of had to teach that to this little one, and then give them something really equally good. You can't give them kibble that they always get because they're not going to want to give up their super good thing. Um, so with this, a piece of string cheese might have been a better choice as the additional thing or a piece of hot dog or whatever. But you can do these kinds of behaviors throughout the days, throughout the adolescence of the dog, and it all reinforces that resources don't need to be worried about with you. Powerful stuff. You'd be surprised.